Right, let's get started, shall we? Sloths, amazing creatures. Grace, intelligence, courage, agility, utter beauty. None of these attributes have ever been associated to them. Still, they're very entertaining in their own way and weirdly enough, we're fascinated by them. Let's have a look at some interesting facts about sloths. Number 1. Sloths used to be gigantic. They are one of the most harmless looking creatures after all. Cute eyes, big fluffs and so on. Back in the day, and by that I mean up to 8 million years ago, giant sloths roamed the earth. They were called Thalassignos or Megatherium and with 6 to 7 meters in height and a weight up to 7 tons, they were absolutely massive fellas. The Megatherium actually lived until 8000 years ago. Imagine a sloth as huge as an elephant and think about how absolutely terrifying they once must have been. They were herbivores, but still you wouldn't want to fight with anything this big. With claws. It's weird how some species change over time, but then I remind myself a chihuahua is a dog and dogs are related to wolves. That's about the same scope, I guess. Number 2. Sloths love the water. As we know, sloths can be found up in the trees 99% of the time. We'll have a look at the remaining 1% later. But despite that, they're actually very good swimmers. One of their forefathers, the Thalassignos from millions of years ago, certainly was. And they do have to swim from time to time since they do move about the area and search for food and sloth ladies and it would be utterly tragic if they were stopped by a small river. Due to their overall slowness, which also affects their metabolism, they can easily hold their breath for up to 40 minutes under the water. They just don't need that much oxygen and depending on the current they might actually be faster swimming than going on land. And because of their vegetarian diet they tend to have quite a bit of air in their tummies which makes them sort of floaty. When they swim they do a breaststroke. I highly recommend watching a few swimming sloths on YouTube, it's absolutely adorable. Number 3. Sloths are sleepy. Big news! Not really. We know they have a reputation for that. The interesting bit is they are by far not as sleepy as we picture them to be. Sloths usually sleep up to 20 hours a day, but only those in captivity. The wild sloths, if you will, they only sleep half that time, up to 10 hours daily. It's a lot, still. Number 4. Sloths are invisible and don't stink. The secret to this is a coating of algae on the fur. The fur is long and rough and apart from algae, other insects like beetles and cockroaches live in there as well. But algae, they stick nicely to a sloth's fur, turning it green. It's basically handed over from the mother sloth to a baby sloth and the algae hides it perfectly from other predators. In other news, sloths don't sweat because you actually have to move about in order to do so. And they have no body odor, which helps them avoid predators even better. The algae makes them smell like the trees they live in. Number 5. Sloths can keep their grip after death. A sloth's body was engineered for one thing, grip and hang about in trees. That's almost everything they do. Thanks to those claws and muscles, the grip of a sloth is so strong that when they die, they will cling to the very branch they died on. They can't be hunted from the ground. If an arrow or something were to hit them, who or whatever shot at them would still have to climb up to get the sloth. It wouldn't fall down. Number 6. Sloths can hold it in. And they're true champions in doing that. Sloths only poop once a week. Utter laziness is the true sloth way of life and every single thing they do is incredibly slow. And their digestive system is just as slow. There are some foods which take a sloth about a month to digest. So if you went to poop only once a week, you better make it count, right? Sloths can lose up to one third of their body weight during their weekly poo. Just imagine going for a 50 pounds crapping session. Another strange thing about sloths pooping is they always descend to the ground to do their business which makes them very vulnerable to other predators. It is currently unknown why they don't just do it from the top of the trees, like normal people. Number 7. Sloth Hunters Their main predators are eagles, jaguars and snakes. Sloths of course seem very vulnerable to their overall appearance. The fact that they are very slow, have no fangs, aren't very strong, don't wear that much, can't fly, look funny, they can't do flips and such. But still, they are relatively safe from their predators because they spend their time living on top of the trees and due to their camouflage, they are hard to spot. Also, their slowness is quite the advantage because it makes them less noticeable. Some eagles, for instance, have such strong claws they can just swoop them from the branch killing them instantly. 
Number 8. Just how slow are they? Well, according to experts, the average speed of a sloth is 2 meters per minute on the ground, while on trees it's slightly faster, an astonishing 3 meters per minute. They do move faster when they're in danger, but at 4 meters per minute as their maximum speed, they're not gonna outrun anyone. Not an eagle, not a jaguar, not a 3 year old with a lollipop. When in danger, they go into defense mode, and that means biting, shrieking and clawing. On average, a sloth travels approximately 35 meters per day, which is still more than what I do on a lazy day. Number 9. There are two types of sloth. Two-toed sloth and the smaller and even slower three-toed sloth. The names are misleading though. Two-toed sloths have two claws on their forelimbs. Their hands if you will. But both the two-toed and the three-toed sloths have three claws on their hind limbs. That means two-toed sloths actually have two fingers, not two toes. That's basically all the difference. Also, the three-toed fellas can turn their heads almost 360 degrees for extra visibility. If you can't outrun or outfight your predators, you better want to spot them before they spot you. Number 10. Other threats to the sloth. Sloths are unable to survive outside the tropical rainforests in South and Central America, but within that environment they're doing very well. On Barro Colorado Island in Panama, sloths have been estimated to comprise 70% of the biomass of arboreal mammals. Some of the six sloth species are threatened by habitat loss. Deforestation in South and Central America is the obvious issue. Four of the six species are currently rated least concerned. The main three-toed sloth is classified as vulnerable, and the island dwelling pygmy three-toed sloth is unfortunately critically endangered. In case you want to help, we provided a link to the WWF website for you in the description below the video. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching, subscribe if you like and goodbye.